I'm back with another body wash from Soap and Glory. Now, the last one I reviewed, which was their Smoothie Star, didn't really impress me. So I wasn't sure what to expect going in. I didn't want to get my hopes up. But I picked this up at Ulta Beauty. I paid $10.99. And this is the Real Zing, their Radiance Boosting Body Wash. And it's sold in a 16.9 ounce fluid container. I'll post a picture of the ingredient list at the end of the video in very small print too, I might add. Uh, the five days went by really fast because I did like this scent. On the front, you can see it shows lemons and they do not disappoint. When you get in the shower, you do notice it. It's a mild lemon aroma. It's, it's like fresh citrus. It's delicious. When you step out and towel off, it is going to dissipate from your body after a short while. Sometimes companies try to do the lemon fragrance and it comes off smelling more like a cleaning agent, but not in this case. Um, when you are washing your body with it, it has an okay foamy lather with hints of creaminess to it. And it did take care of my skin. It left mine moderately moisturized. Here it is in the viscosity measurement device. It's a white cream and uh, it really, it's not moving very fast here. It, I would normally say it moves at a so-so pace in regular room temperature. I just turned off the heat to my house for the, uh, the season. And so it's a little bit chilly in here and everything's congealed, but normally it would move a bit faster. So, all right, well, that is my review. I wanna thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. So here's a quick Easter egg for those of you who watched the ingredient list. And I think there are several people who do. Anyways, I was supposed to put out a video yesterday on Sunday morning, and these days I wait till the day of to film because it doesn't take me long to make the videos anymore. Got up and for whatever reason, just caught a bad hair day. I did not want to physically be in front of the camera, but I still needed to put something up because I'm trying to keep a schedule. And while I have driving video, making those takes a lot of time, hours, hours and hours to render and I needed to have something out in the morning. So I'm sitting there kind of scratching my head when it came upon me to start a new series. It just popped into my mind. Uh, we talk about soaps all the time. I take pictures of them, really talk about the soap makers in the reviews. But you know what would be kind of cool is to visit their websites and take a look at the forward-facing image that they put forth for their customers. Because personally, I've seen their websites change over the years, redesigns, new products, the whole nine yards, and it would be kind of neat to document and talk about what they've got set up. So uh, yeah, it's kind of like a whole series that will complement my reviews of soaps and take like a historical snapshot of uh, their setups at you know certain moments in time. All right, well, that's about it. I will catch you later.